Hey there. Today I wanted to talk about a handful of sports and what their eventual restart of the season could look like. With Major League Baseball and the National Basketball Association beginning to have plans put in place for a prospective start date, I thought it would be a good idea to talk about what the remainder of their seasons could look like. Starting off, I wanted to talk about the NHL and where they are in their restart process. So, unfortunately, they're still in Phase 1. Phase 1 is players self-isolating themselves, which they have been doing for seven weeks now. Phase 2 would eventually mean that they are returning to team facilities in small groups for skating programs and small-scaled practices. NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman stated that they are in no rush to restart the season. He was quoted as saying, There's no magic for next season of starting in October as we traditionally do. If we have to start in November or December, that's something that will be under consideration. We're going to try to make good, prudent, careful judgments. This isn't a race to be first back. I feel as though in this scenario, the first one through the wall always gets bloody. Someone has to take the first big step into reopening their league and become subject to different scrutinies at the start. It appears that hockey will not be that first organization back out there. So with that, the NHL is waiting for their entry into Phase 2. They were planning on beginning the step towards the end of May, but who's to know if that loose schedule will actually hold up? And once the season finally does start up again, I know most players have expressed wanting to have a handful of games to play before jumping right into the postseason. That could be slightly beneficial for those teams that are secured in the playoffs and allow them to shake off some rust. But also, there are still a handful of teams that are battling for a playoff position with seven teams going after two wildcard spots in both conferences. The NBA is in a similar boat as the NHL, but there have been a few teams that have opened up their facilities. Those teams have allowed their players to come in and utilize their workout facility, but no more than four players at a time are allowed. The NBA players have had a similar reaction to this suspended season as the NHL players have. Whenever they restart the season, they would like to have at least two weeks worth of games to play instead of jump-starting right into the playoffs. Also, similar to the NHL, the final seed of the Western Conference involves five teams and is separated by four games. Needless to say that whenever the season does start again, there will be some meaningful basketball to be played for a handful of teams. Finally, I wanted to talk about this MLB season that has gone from teasing us with the start to not really knowing if the season will actually happen. Last I heard was that they were anticipating starting the season in July, as well as having a two-week spring training session in June to allow players to get themselves as game-ready as possible before the official start of the season. There are a few things I would like to touch on specifically for this season. If we are fortunate enough to have a season this year, we will, at best, have a full season that consists of maybe 80 games. That is, if they aren't going to adjust the schedule to have planned doubleheader events and a similar amount of days off scheduled during the season. This also means that your season can truly come apart from a bad stretch that lasts about two weeks. You only have a proposed 12 weeks in this short season to get a top of your division and stay there. Anyone who has a rough start out of the gate or a bit of a slum partway through, they are essentially done for the remainder of the season. It has been said by different baseball people that you'll win 60 games and you'll lose 60 games during the course of any season. It's what you do with those remaining 42 games that decides your postseason future. This season will most likely be the first team to win 50 has a guaranteed playoff spot. This abbreviated season could also mean that there will not be an all-star break this year. It would be hard to justify giving teams nearly a week off when this season will have so few games played and minimal time to get as many games in as possible. Needless to say, this season, assuming and hoping that it happens, will be a bit of an adjustment in its entirety as it goes along. Well, that is where we sit with these three sports that are currently on lockdown and waiting for the go-ahead to begin and continue their seasons. Until next time, I'm Kevin Householder.